The first law really goes back to the first, first part of the 17th century, which was Galileo, who expressed what he called the law of inertia. And I will read you this law. A body at rest remains at rest, and a body in motion continues to move at constant velocity along a straight line unless acted upon by an external force. And now I will read to you Newton's own words in his famous book, Principia. Every body perseveres in its state of rest or of uniform motion in a right line unless it is compelled to change that state by forces impressed upon it. Can Newton's law be proven? The answer is no, because it's impossible to be sure that your reference frame is without any accelerations. Do we believe in this? Yes, we do. We believe in it since it is consistent within the uncertainty of the measurements with all experiments that have been done. The second law I will read to you. A force action on a body gives it an acceleration which is in the direction of the force. That's also important. Acceleration is in the direction of the force and has a magnitude given by ma. Can the first law, the second law be proven? No. Do we believe in it? Yes. Why do we believe in it? Because all experiments and all measurements within the uncertainty of the measurements are in agreement with the second law. Now we come to Newton's third law. If one object exerts a force on another, the other exerts the same force in opposite direction on the one. Can the third law be proven? No. Do we believe in it? Yes. Why do we believe in it? Because all measurements, all experiment within the uncertainties are consistent with the third law. 